I want to be able to give you a few designing tips when it comes to designing your reports. But first of all, I need to create a report. And I want to base it upon this sales and profit query. When I open it up, I want to show you some of the fields I'll be pulling into my report. And they include the part number, book title, and customer name. In fact, when I right click and I go to the design view, you can see that it's based upon these four tables here. Now to create my report. Come up here, click on the Create tab, go to the Reports group, click on the Report Design button, and it opens up the report in Design View. Next, I need to be able to base this report upon a record source, either a table or in this case, my Sales and Profit query, which is based upon four tables. So to set it, so I can be able to pull the fields into this report from this query here, I need to bring up the Property Sheet. And I can do that by coming up here in the Design tab to the Tools group and click on Property Sheet or just real easy double click over here in the blue section. Make sure that when you bring up the Property Sheet it has the report selected because if you're over here clicking off somewhere, the report's no longer selected so I can assign the record source to be the Sales and Profit query. So what I want to do is click on the drop down arrow and either select report here or if I click off somewhere again you can come over here and click on the report selection square here when you click on it it brings up the report as well because once I bring it up and I have it selected I want to come over here on the alt tab to the record source click on the drop down arrow and say I want to be able to pull in the fields from the sales and profit query once I have it selected here the query I'm able to bring in those fields and I can do it one of two ways the first way I'm going to show you is going to be long and tedious, which you may not find any practical application for it here, but later on as you become more advanced, you may find it more practical then. So to get started, I'm going to come up here and click on the Design tab to the Controls group, and I'm going to bring in a text box. As you recall in the previous training videos, a text box includes a label and an unbound text box. And what I want to do is for the label, you know, give it a name, and then assign that unbound text box to pull in, well, what field? Let's go to our sales and profit query here. Let's pull in the book title field, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and right click and close out. Come up here to the design tab again, controls group, click on the text box button, and make sure that when, you, again, you add your text boxes, you don't go right up against the border here, because if you do that, and I click, it's scrunched up, it actually has the unbound text box on top of the label, it's behind it. Then I have to, well, click off and click here and try to drag things around, and find out where it's at and it's just a mess so I'll hit undo a couple of times come back here click the text box button again and then give it a little bit of a space between that and the margin there and click about right here so now I have the label and the unbound text box first of all I want to give the label a name it's going to be the book title remember the field I'm going to be pulling in so it's label here I can either change it by clicking within the box or after I select the label come over here to the property sheet over on the alt tab where it says caption get rid of that default text and we'll type in book title hit enter and the moment I hit enter you can see that the box here for the label is too small I can't see all the text so I can come over here hover over the middle right handle till I get a two-way arrow then I can click and drag to stretch it or if I'm fast I can double click real fast and it does not auto fit notice here where it says caption and then above it it says name the caption is for the person viewing the report, as you see here. The name here is for you on the back end as the designer, because we may give it different names for whatever reason. So for example, if I click off in a blank area and I want to be able to pull up that book title label again, because let's say I've got hundreds of labels here, I've got objects, images, and I can't quite click on the label here, but I want to select it to either delete it or format it or just be able to move it by using my arrow keys. If I can't select it here, because things are in the way, then I can come over here to the property sheet, click on the drop down arrow, and if I remember the label's name, label 3, select it, and it selects it for me over here. So that brings up a second problem, is that if I add a bunch of labels, I'm not going to be able to identify them by label 1, 5, 6, 8, I mean, what are they referring to? So I can come over here and change the label's name and call it, again, book, title, and let's call it LBL for label. Hit enter. And then also for my unbound text box, it's got this generic name, um, text2. Well, I want to call it book title text for text box. Hit enter. That way, if I'm off in a blank area here and I'm moving around my report and I can't click quite on the text box here because there's other things in the way, for whatever purpose, I can come over here, click on the drop down arrow, and know that that's my book title text box that I'm looking for. And there it is. It selects it for me. 
Okay, now that we have our label defined here, so in the report they can see the label here and know that the information pulling in this text box is going to be the records referring to the book title, are going to be the book title records, then I want to be able to assign this to the book title field. So select it, come over here on the Alt tab to the control source, click on the drop down arrow, and remember it's pulling all the fields in from that query that this report is now based upon and we want it to be book title. There we go, we're done. Let's take it for a test drive, click on the view button here, the report view, well there's the label and the record it's pulling right here. The problem I'm running into is I have all this white space down below, so I have to scroll down quite a bit to see the next record. I've got a lot more work to do here and a few more fields to add, so right click back to the design view. Let me add a few more fields, but I'm going to do it the easy way now. Come up here in the tools group, of course on the design tab, and click on the add existing fields. Now, the fields you see here are the fields that are tied to the record source that this report is based upon. However, let me click on the link at the bottom of the task pane here. If you get a bunch of tables being pulled up, but you only want to pull in the fields that this report is assigned to, then down at the bottom, click on the link that says show only fields in the current record source. When you click on that, it gets rid of everything else and it only shows you the records that this report is based upon or pulls in those fields. That way, I can bring in, let's say, the customer name, double click on it, and the book sold, double click on that, and it adds it to the grid here. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the property sheet. Now remember the problem I was running into in the report view, how I had all this white space? Well, that's because I have all this grid here. So what I want to do is, let me go ahead and shift click these and select them, and then as a whole, click and drag them and move them up here just a little bit. And of course, in earlier training videos, we learned how to align these up quickly by, first let me shift click all the labels here, come up here to the range tab to the control alignment and click on left, and it takes the label to the furthest left and aligns all the labels to that farthest left reaching label and then I can do the same for the text boxes after I select them and do left that looks good and then scroll down here and I want to hover over the page footer the top of that bar there until I get a two-way arrow and then click and drag that up because I want to close the gap I don't want all that white space that when it comes from going one record to the next so let me click and drag and push that right up underneath there and then let's take it for a test drive right click to report view there we go. At least there's not a lot of white space between records. Here's the first record, the second, the third. So I have the book title, the customer name, the book sold. When it comes to reports, it's not really efficient for me to have the record stacked like this. Instead, I'd rather have the label up at the top, book title, and all the book title records pulling down below. To change this up a bit, I'm going to go ahead and right click and go to the design view. Up in the page header is where I want to stick my labels, and then below them I want to put just underneath them their text boxes, corresponding text boxes, book title to book title labels. So let me go ahead and select the label, control X to cut it, come up here, click in the page header section, control V as in Victor to paste it, and then I want to click and drag its record source, the control box, and move it right underneath the label. Okay. And then I want to do the same thing to these last two labels. Shift click both labels, control X to cut them, or you can come over here on the home tab and click on the pair of scissors to cut them. Then come up here, click in the page header section, click on the paste button, or control V as in Victor to paste it. Click off in a blank area so I can come back on and click and drag the name label over just a bit, and then grab the book sold and come over here. And then of course I want to line up just underneath it the record source or the field for customer name to the label and then book sold to the book sold label and then to make sure I don't have a lot of white space between records because the first record will show have all this white space then the next record will show and again to eliminate that click and drag so it's right up underneath it and let's go ahead and click on the view button looks better at least that way I'm able to fit more I believe on my report here than having it stacked this is tabular, so that way I've got my book title and all the book records, the customer names that are associated with the books they purchased and how many they bought or how many we sold. Now for the next challenge. Well, you can see that the book title is being cut off here and also the customer name. And I also have more space over on my page here. So I want to be able to move it over and be able to stretch those text boxes out to include, well, the longest book title name there. Now this is where the layout view can be very helpful. For example, if I go back to my design view here and I say, well, I need more room than just this little tiny box to fit the longest text or book title. So I can come over here on the text box and hover over the middle right handle and click and drag. 
but you see now I'm guessing because I can't really see or figure out how many characters within the longest title that I'll need to stretch this out to. So if I right click and go to the layout view, it makes it so much easier. First of all, in the layout view, I want to be able to give some spacing here between these columns. I can click on the book sold label and I can move the book sold label separately by clicking and dragging it. The moment I move it, it collapses everything, gets it tighter, which is nice. So there's less spacing between the labels and the records down below. In any case, I can move the labels separately, and I can also click on one of the fields down below and move those separately by clicking and dragging them as well. To move both, just shift click them, click off in a blank area, well, <laughs> click off in a blank area here, click on the label, shift click any one of these fields down below, and then I can click and drag both of them at the same time. So I can drag this way over here, okay? And then I want to shift, click both the label and the text boxes down below and drag those over, say about yay far. Now, I want to be able to do a best fit if I can. So I'm going to start over here, click on one of these text boxes, then just hover over the right middle section of that rectangle and click and drag it over just a bit. You can see I'm now beginning to see more of the title here. And then the problem I run into is that if I have a lot of labels here, a lot of columns, I don't get that luxury. It might be just kind of scrunched up like that. However, there's a solution to that. If I'm not able to stretch out this horizontally, I can actually do a text wrap. In other words, I can set the property field to this text box so that it can grow, but not horizontally, but actually vertically. So if the text gets cut off here, it can wrap it around it. So not cutting off the postcard will actually be wrapped around at the bottom here. To do that, go ahead and right click and go back to the design view. And for book title, I'm also going to shift click customer name. I want to be able to apply the property to that as well so it can grow and be able to wrap the text and not cut it off. To do that, I want to bring up the property sheet here from the design tab, click on property sheet. And then on the all tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom. You see where it says can grow? Double click that to yes and then watch what happens. Click on the view button. And so anywhere that it wants to cut off, instead of cutting it off completely down here, business card to where it would have cut it off here, it wrapped around and finished it with postcard marketing. Also with the customer name, candy, toys, and fireworks ink, instead of cutting it off here, wrapped it around. So can grow, yes, it can grow, but it can only grow vertically here and wrap the text. And then of course you can do a few other things if this looks like it's all running together because of the wrapping, like for example, business card to post marketing is over here and then it starts the next record. You can do a couple of things. You can right click on the tab here, go back to design view, and either give yourself a little bit of space in between each record. So when you go back, it makes a little bit more sense there. Or go back to design view. Not only give yourself a little bit more space, but come up here in the controls group and click on the, the line button. And then just click and drag a line. Now when I click and drag a line, it looks like it's forming a box. You see how it stretches there? If I just can click and drag it in a straight line where I can't see it, I may have to close that property sheet here, but no, it looks like it can scroll above it. If you're doing it right and you're getting the line perfectly horizontally, you won't really see anything. Then let go and there's the line. Then I can click on the view button and there we go. That way it can separate the records a little bit more clearly here in my report. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.